Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your favorite introvert here and today we're going to be talking about the newest, latest and greatest firmware update and what kind of signal interference the DJI Spark can be susceptible to. If you notice, I have the Spark set up here on the dresser facing me. Also, I have an Eero True Mesh Wi-Fi system that offers tri-band Wi-Fi signals that cover the same spectrum as a Spark. We're going to use this as interference to show what the Spark can do and what the Spark can handle. Let's get into it. So whenever you go to a new flying field, you're definitely going to want to check interference. Not only IMU and Compass, which you can find here in Sensor State. To find Sensor State, you can click the three dots, go into General Settings, then MC Settings, and scroll down to Advanced Settings at the bottom. From here you can see where it says Sensor State. You have four color options that are used to show the state of the sensors. Blue, Channel in Use, Green, Excellent, Yellow, Good, or Red, Poor. It is my personal opinion that red should be labeled Do Not Fly, but that's just me. DJI uses these color schemes throughout the Spark to show either signal strength or sensor state as stated previously. We're going to go down to Wi-Fi channels. Pay attention to this. This is important. You have your 2.4 gigahertz and your 5.8 gigahertz. This is referencing which Wi-Fi channels you are using. The Wi-Fi channels which connect your remote control to your drone or your phone to your drone. If you notice, I'm using the 5.8 gigahertz range right now and it has available the 149, 153, 157, 161, and 165 channels. Notice 161 and 165 are fluctuating between green and red. This is going to make me not use these channels. It's going to make me stay away from these channels. Right now I'm on the 149 band. If you are ever going to change these channels, you want to do it on the ground and never in flight. The Spark disconnects Wi-Fi while changing channels and to avoid the risk of any flyaway, you want to be grounded. I have my propellers off on the Spark right now just in case anything were to happen as well. So I'm going to choose channel index 153 and hit apply. And you'll see the channel get busy and settle back down once the channel change has completed. Now what do I mean by busy? And what is this chart actually showing me? RSSI or Receive Signal Strength Indicator is a common name for the received radio signal power level in a wireless network. It is often measured in either decibels or simply numbers between 0 and 100. RSSI can be expressed as either a negative or positive value. However, in both instances, smaller values closer to 0 indicate a stronger signal. In this case, as it relates to the spark, the RSSI is measuring the interference in the channels from negative 60 to negative 100. And the lower the interference towards the negative 100 scale, the better quality the connection is between the controller and the spark. So let's talk a little bit about channels and channel indexes. So you have the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5.8 gigahertz channels and down at the bottom you have a channel index. What this channel index is, the DJI Spark follows an industry standard and that industry standard is the IEEE 802.11 uh, bands. Basically it's 2.4 gigahertz and 5.8 gigahertz. These bands, the 2.4 at least, is the same common standard that you find in your house Wi-Fi network. Uh, 802.11, B, G, and N. And the reason for these 1 through 10 channels is the channels overlap each other and channels 1 and 2 ride over the same frequencies waves or they share a lot of the similar frequencies as far as megahertz are concerned. So when you're typically setting up a home network, you want to skip channels. You want to set up one Wi-Fi repeater in channel 1, the other in channel 3, the other in channel 5. That way you have a significant separation in your channels and it reduces the amount of interference caused by your repeaters. That is what DJI has decided to go with as far as and their 2.4 gigahertz channels. So it is not wise to go from channel 1 to channel 2 if you're going to go there, go to from 1 to 3 to 5 and so on and so forth if you're worried about 
frequency degradation or frequency saturation. So in these channel indexes you'll see they have 1 through 10 and you can monitor the amount of interference each channel has uh, as it relates in your phone, whichever phone that you use. You can monitor the interference and you would like to choose the channel that has the least amount of interference which will show up as green or stable quality. Red is unstable and blue is your current channel. So that is what it relates to on the 802.11 Bravo Golf and November bands in 2.4 gigahertz bands. Let's talk a little bit about the 5 gigahertz bands. So DJI only uses 5 5.8 gigahertz bands. 149, 153, 157, 161, and 165. It's the same issue with 802.11 B, G, and N as it is 802.11 A and N. A and N is a less frequently used channel spectrum as 2.4 gigahertz is because most Wi-Fi networks are in the 2.4 gigahertz range. Now these, these new Wi-Fi range extenders, uh, wireless mesh networks, they all have the spread spectrum, channel hopping, uh, multi-band use, and they will also use 5 gigahertz channels as well. So you need to watch out for that interference as well. The point I'm trying to drive home is 1. Be aware of your surroundings, 2. Monitor your Wi-Fi channels, and 3. If you fly in a new area, check, double check, and triple check all your sensor states and Wi-Fi channel for congestion. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Give a thumbs up if you like it, and subscribe for more content. We'll see you next video.